of uh, function f of x and uh, we have to choose one of them is true statement so let's uh, check each statement one by one In the first statement uh, we have f of x as a removable discontinuity at x equal to negative 3 so let's look at the point x equal to negative 3 this is the point uh, x equal to negative 3 uh, we can see that uh, it uh, it goes uh, something like this and we have some value over here and uh, the statement removable discontinuity generally uh, the graph of a removable discontinuity will look like this something like this so it will have some discontinuity and at the same time the function will also have some value suppose if this is uh, x equal to a it will have a discontinuity as well as f of a will also be defined so this is uh, usually the graph of a removable discontinuity we don't see such a graph at x equal to negative 3 so this statement is not a true statement now let's move on to the next statement and this says uh, f of x as a jump discontinuity at x equal to negative 3 let's uh, understand the jump discontinuity graph so usually it will look like this the jump discontinuity the graph of the jump discontinuity at a point uh, x equal to a this is how it looks like let's see if we see like this at x equal to negative 3 no we don't see it so therefore uh, this is also not a true statement now let's move on to the next one and this is uh, f of x as a infinite discontinuity at x equal to negative 3 generally the uh, infinite discontinuity will look like this it will look like uh, unbounded at, uh, at the point uh, x equal to a so something like this if this point is x equal to a both uh, the one side and the left uh, one side limits uh, will approach uh, infinity so this is the general uh, graph of a uh, function which has an uh, infinite discontinuity at a point x equal to a. So do we see that over here? No, we don't see that. So we can say that this is also not correct. Now let's move on to the last one. So here it says f of x is continuous at x equal to 3. So the general uh, graph of uh, any function which is continuous will be something like this to we'll have the function define suppose if this point is uh, x equal to a both values should approach the same the one side limits should approach the same value let's call if this is l so clearly we can see at x equal to negative 3 we have uh, the one side limits uh, approaching 5 if you come from left side it is approaching 5 as well as if you come from uh, right side it is still approaching 5 also f of minus 3 is also the function is defined at negative 3 this value is also 5 so it basically meets the three conditions of a limit of continuous function so therefore we can see that the function is continuous at x equal to negative 3 so this is the only true statement